Hi everyone, I'm back for a brand new video. Welcome back if you are a subscriber and hello if you're new. And if you are either of those things, make sure you are subscribed and also make sure you hit the little bell notification next to the subscribe button and you will always get notified when a new video goes up. So today I wanted to do a video all about skincare and I don't want to sit here and kind of recommend products to you although I am going to share some of my favourites. I kind of wanted to do a bit more of a skincare guide because I think at the beginning of the year is an absolutely fabulous time to kind of discover skincare and just change your routine if you're already into it. So whether you get into skincare or whether you're really into skincare and you just want some recommendations, then do keep watching. I first just want to say that I am by no means an expert in skin. I am not a doctor, I am not a dermatologist, but I have learned a lot from beauty blogging over the years and going to facials and just attending new launches for products. So this is kind of just me sharing any information that I've learned along the way and hopefully you'll find it really useful. I also wanted to say that, you know, if you can afford to go for a facial, I think it's a really great thing to do at the beginning of the year. Not only does it make you feel super lovely and your skin is glowing, but it is such a good way, if you want to get into skincare, to know your skin. So even if you only ever have one facial in your life, go to someone good and find out your skin type. And then from that, you can work out what products that you need to have for your skin type. So this is kind of like a skincare 101 and kind of the, the types of products that I think everyone should have in the skincare regime. So if you just all you really know about is kind of cleanse and moisturize and you want to add more into your routine, then this is definitely the guide that will help you do that. So I'm going to kick off with a sulfur mask. A sulfur mask is a product I had never heard of before and only last year I discovered it and it has absolutely changed my skincare routine whenever I have any breakouts. So if you suffer from just the odd occasional spot or whether you have acne, this is a product that will work so well for you. And the one that I use is this one. This is the Peter Thomas Roth um, Therapeutic Sulfur Mask and it's called an acne treatment mask, which is kind of a little bit scary because I don't have acne, I just have the odd occasional spot and I'm kind of like, oh, do I want to use that? But it's so, so good. I've never seen a product take down a spot that fast. I've also tried another sulfur mask, I think it was from Zedo, which is quite a serious like acne brand and um, I had that on a few spots after a facial and it worked amazingly. So I picked up this one and it's really, really good. So it basically is kind of a white colour, kind of white kind of consistency. Um, kind of quite mud-like in a way. But what I do with this is I place it um, on certain spots and I'll leave it for like 20 minutes or a little bit longer or I'll leave it even leave it, or I'll even leave it overnight and my spots have gone down so much and they practically be gone by the next day. It is that good. So I definitely recommend a sulfur mask. I definitely recommend this one but if you uh, are looking just for a sulfur mask or sulfur products then definitely look for 10 percent sulfur. I've seen a lot of sulfur products when I was looking for a mask or a product to buy and they don't have 10% sulfur and they may, be, they may be quite effective, I don't know, I haven't tried them but I would look for that 10% because they're the kind of products that are gonna bring those spots straight down by like the next day and as I said if you have acne what you would do with this I recommend is to put it all over your face and yeah, leave for like the 20 minutes and then wash off and I'll just really kind of calm that down. It is such, such a great product. Um, but yeah, a sulfur mask is kind of my number one product to add into your skincare regime this year. Another great product I discovered is a cleansing exfoliator. So I have always just used exfoliators, never really a cleansing exfoliator. So what is a cleansing exfoliator? It's basically a cleanser, so it, it cleanses your skin, it will get rid of dirt and makeup and grime, it also exfoliates, so it will get rid of all the dead skin cells and just keep, and it's a really good one to use every day because it just regenerates those skin cells every day. So your face is always producing new skin cells and I think in turn that sort of helps to produce collagen and just kind of keep, I think, don't quote me on that, but I think it kind of just helps to kind of keep your skin in balance and every day. And it's a great way to, if you've got like excess oil in your face, like for me, I thought my skin was quite dry, but actually I was breaking out a little and I had quite a little bit of oil that I didn't realize. So so an exfoliating cleanser just gets rid of all that kind of oil build up on your skin will help to keep your skin smooth. So the ones that I use regularly are the Mirad 
AHA Exfoliating Cleanser. This is my favourite one just because it cleanses so well and it is not too grainy when you put it on and it, just, it does actually feel like it's getting rid of all the dead skin cells. So it polishes away your dullness so you'll get that brightness and excess cellular debris priming skin for your treatment products. So again, yes, this is a really great way um, if you use a serum afterwards for say a certain treatment so we'll get to that but this is such a great way to really prep your skin because if you're just cleansing your skin and you're not getting rid of that deadly skin the product you're putting on afterwards can't really sink into your skin so it's such a good way to get rid of the dead skin so that the product can really attack the new skin um and yeah smoother texture but yeah this is my definitely one of my favorite ones if you don't like the feel of the grittiness and it isn't something that you would want to use every day and you'd rather use in an exfoliant then this is a product I have been using recently and I really like it. It is Peter Thomas Roth again. I've been discovering so many of his products recently and I really, really love them. Um, this is the Anti-Aging Cleansing Gel. So this is an exfoliating cleanser, but in a gel, it smells like peach. It's amazing. It smells so gorgeous. And this exfoliates so you won't feel like any beads and you won't feel any graininess because it's got glycolic acid and salic acid in it, which exfoliates your face so it kind of does the same job but without the grittiness. If you are looking for an exfoliating cleanser you do look for things like glycolic acid and salicylic acid because they're the kind of ingredients that are going to be really good in exfoliating cleanser. Okay onto a serum. So as I was talking about an exfoliating cleanser, once you washed away and got rid of all that dead skin, your treatment product is your serum and this is going to help kind of just regain whatever problem you have. So I love serums and I even like a serum even compared to a moisturiser. I still do use moisturiser but when I have a really moisturising serum I maybe would skip the moisturiser step. So a really kind of hydrating serum that I really like is the Rodile or Rodile um, Dragon's Blood XXL Advanced Sculpting Serum. I have used this for a long time. As you will see if you followed me, this was in my favourites video of the year, I think, of 2015. So I've used it for a really long time and I still use it. I absolutely love it. It's just a really hydrating serum and really plumping. Gives me that, it does give you that sort of sculpty look and my skin always feels so like this to touch. It has hyaluronic acid in it, which is a great one to plump and firm and tighten the skin and do all those nice things that you want. So this is a really, really great one. And then Murad are actually really into the serums and they also actually label them as the treatment products. So they're like the stage two, this is what they call it. This is one I use more during the day. It is the Advanced Active Radiant Serum and the Environmental Shield Rain. This is a really good one. It kind of, kind of protects your face from the elements and any pollution. Yeah, it's just a really, really great product. And so if you, are, it depends what you're looking for. So in a serum, I'd say know your concern. So is it something that's hydrating? Is it you want to get rid of sunspots? Is it um, you oily? Is it, you know, I don't know. I can't think of anything else. I don't know, you gotta look for your concern. There are so many serums out there that are more specific to your concern and that's what kind of this thing you would use after you kind of exfoliated. Say if an exfoliating cleanser isn't quite the one for you and you'd rather stick to your exfoliator, I'm going to recommend a few. And I also use an exfoliator as well as an exfoliating cleanser because I don't use an exfoliating cleanser every day. Um, I would maybe use it four out of seven days a week and then other days I maybe use a gel cleanser. So I kind of alternate um, and I will also use an exfoliator. So in the days I don't use the exfoliating cleanser, I will use an actual exfoliator. So I try and use an actual exfoliator like once, twice a week because I really love that like hard scrub feel and really feel like I'm kind of getting getting like all the new layers of skin to come out. I've got a few recommendations for products that I use that I find are really good and they're all really different. Okay, so if you like to exfoliate and you love to feel the grittiness like me, one of my favourites is Goldfaden MD's Doctor's Scrub. This is um, a natural product which is fantastic and it's the Ruby Crystal Microderm Exfoliator. This is a, just a daily exfoliator that adds hydration and removes dead surface skin cells. This is a really gritty exfoliator. I love using it. I always feel like my skin is so soft afterwards and I just like the feel of it. It leaves my skin feeling like brighter and soft 
and ready for those treatment serum products. Another one that I've been using quite recently, and this brand is called Formula 10.06. You may have seen this in my blogger mail video a little while ago, and I've been giving it a try. Now this brand is kind of designed for sort of slightly younger people, but I don't, don't let that put you off because I think this is a really, really good exfoliator. And yes, my skin is older, but I found it just to be as effective as it would be as if I was younger. I guess it's probably marketed more for the younger range because the, the line is sort of designed, I think, with kind of te maybe teenage skin in mind, like the spots and things. But as you get older, you can have spots too. You can develop adult acne. And so I don't think, you know, I guess they're matching it for that. It's a little bit like nip and fab. It's probably maybe the more the younger sister range of Redial, but I love nip and fab and I get on really well with it. So don't let things like that put you off buying a product because it may very well work for you. This is another one that's a little bit gritty, not quite as gritty as the Gold Fadden, but it's really lovely. It smells really nice. It smells just got a gorgeous, really nice smell. It comes out pink as well. And this is a pore cleaning face scrub. So it's got zinc, oat, and pumice, and it just purifies. And it's mainly to control oil. So if you do suffer from oil, this would be a really good one. But I get on well with it too. My face got really soft after it. It felt very, like my pores were refined and it felt really clear. If you want to exfoliate and you don't like that grittiness and you just really don't like it, I have two products here that I also really like. So this is Peter Thomas Schwab. I feel like I'm doing a bit of an advert for Peter Thomas Roth here. I promise you, they are not sponsoring this video. I just really like the brand. So, and also they sent me quite a lot of stuff recently and I've been trying it out and it's just, it's been really good and I really want to recommend it because it's so good. So, this is the Firmax Peeling Gel. So this is an exfoliant, but it's, oh, it's really satisfying. So it comes out as a gel and you rub it in your hands and the minute you put it on your face, there's all these like white bits. That's the dead skin on your face and it's disgusting, but it's so satisfying at the same time. After I've used this, I really feel satisfied because I feel like I've seen the dead skin actually come off my face um, and it's just really, really satisfying. So I love this. My face feels soft after it. Um, but yeah, I just really like it. It's got enzymes in it, so the pineapple, pomegranate, carotenase lots of ingredients that you can read about online but I just really like it as a product, I think it's really good. This is a new one which I've been trying out just really recently, this is from Dermalogica and this is their new Daily Super Foley and it's a really interesting product and I wanted to include it in this video because I've used it so far and I'm very impressed with it and I think this is a great one to exfoliate for daily and if you don't like the grittiness. It's quite a hard product because I wasn't sure whether to kind of maybe include it in the cleansing exfoliators or the exfoliators, but it is definitely not a cleansing exfoliator. It's not designed to take off makeup or it is an exfoliant, but it is to be used daily. It says that sensitive skin recommends like a little bit less, but it basically, it comes in a bo bottle like this. It looks like talc. It kind of comes out like talc, but it's a powder. The powder is gray because it's got charcoal in it and you put water in your hands so you mix it together it makes a paste and you rub it on it has a slight grittiness but nothing like other ones and you just rub it on and basically your face will look great and then you wash it off it's quite actually it's a little messy i will say it is a little messy um on the sink area so just be careful when you're using it but it is a really great way to exfoliate your face and this product really interesting because as well as like exfoliating your face it's designed to protect against pollution. Let me just read a bit off the back. It is basically like AHAs in it and then it has charcoal to purify your skin and then it's got like red algae and tar fruit extract which act as a guard against the damaging excess pollution. So if you're using this daily it's going to sort of build up like a barrier um against pollution and kind of maybe stop as much can dirt and grime getting in your face but it's a really great one if you live in the city like london and it's really polluted so i've only used this a few times but i just really wanted to include it because it's a new release and i thought it was really, really interesting and i really kind of like the idea of the exfoliant so i'm looking forward to using this a lot more The next product that I would recommend adding into your skincare range, if you don't already, is an eye cream. Now I didn't even use an eye cream for so long and I'm so glad I do now because the difference is kind of outstanding. It can help even your makeup go on better. I don't have as many dark circles as I used to and I have noticed a difference in those fine lines and wrinkles. So 
The ones that I am loving are, which I probably showed them a few of these before, my favourite one is Murad's Instant Radiance Eye Cream. Just got a brand new tub of this for Christmas. I absolutely love it. You can rub it not just round the eye, but all over the eyelid. Really great for a makeup base. And it's just really like so smooth and soft. It has shea butter in it. Again, it's part of the Environmental Shield range, so a really great one for during the day. The one that I like to use for night is Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. I love this one, especially um, recently when my eyes have been really, really dry and red. And I just didn't really want to put too much on them. This is just so hydrating, moisturising, and just put lots of this on overnight and my eyes felt a lot better in the morning so I love this one and it's also a really good makeup base too and then I've got Vidal's Dragon Blood Eye Gel so as you can tell I really like Vidal's Dragon's Blood range it just works for me it's hydrating so I definitely recommend their products whether they've got like all different products for different concerns they're like one of my favorite brands it is a little pricey but it's definitely really good so this is the Dragon's Blood Eye Gel and it has hyaluronic acid in it, funnily enough, like all their other Dragon's Blood products. And yeah, I found this really, really good as well when I was suffering. And I really actually like to put this one on at night. I found it was really, really beneficial then. This is another product which I kind of like, feel like it's a little kind of top up product because it's in a little roller ball. But this is Pixie's 24K Eye Exilier. It is like a roller ball. You put it on AM and PM. And it's, it's not really as satisfying as an eye cream is when you put it on because you don't feel, you can't really feel it that much but I used this quite recently and I really, really felt like I can notice the difference. Um, I've got the box here because it's got gold in it which stimulates circulation, collagen to strengthen the skin and peptides to plump fine lines. So yeah, it is quite a new product for me so I'm looking forward to using this more but I just wanted to mention it because I like the idea and yeah, it's quite a good one if you're travelling. I quite liked it. last type of product because I feel like I'm bombarding you with ideas here is an overnight treatment. So I love an overnight treatment because I just feel like overnight is when your skin repairs itself and that's when you want to put something on to help that. So my favourite ones to use overnight is Alpha H's Beauty Sleep uh, Power Peel with 0.5% retinol. So retinol is a really good one. So if you're a bit older like me, I'm 32 and I would want to kind of get rid of those fine lines then retinol is a really great ingredient to kind of get rid of fine lines get rid of dark spots and basically I think it kind of helps boost collagen I don't know but yeah it's a really good one and 0.5% is a really high percentage it tingles a little bit when you put it on um, just for the first few times but I don't really feel that much anymore when I use it but it just leaves my face so so soft in the morning like such a great like way to just start the day and put makeup on and you feel amazing. I love 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 this product. And funnily enough it's Rodal's Dragon's Bun making another appearance. Kind of love this range. This is their Hyaluronic Night Cream XXL Pumping Hydro Cream. Again with hyaluronic acid and it also has retinol in it as well. So another great one for overnight and wake up to look amazing. I hope that's been helpful. I hope you've got some recommendations from the products that I use or just some ideas into adding a new kind of product type into your skincare regime. As always, all the products I mentioned are in the description box, so just click on show more. Remember to hit subscribe, remember to hit the notification bell and remember to give this video a big thumbs up. I hope this was really helpful. Feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section because I love to reply to you guys and see those and I hope to see you at my next video. Bye guys!